What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Weemaster37, and today is Pokemon Day. We're going to talk about Pokemon. I'm going to show you some Pokemon cards that I purchased on Amazon, and I really, really got ripped off. Thinking these Pokemons was real. They say it was real. People in the comments below say it was real. It was happy. The kids are happy. But guess, guess who got fooled? Me. I guess it was just because of the price. And it came with so much Pokemon cards, the best of the best. And, and I basically just, I don't know, because I've been collecting Pokemons like crazy for the past three years. Even though I collected Pokemon since 1998, 1999, um, I stopped for a long time. You know, I was young. Now that I'm older, I got back into it and trying to catch up. And I did so far. I got thousands and thousands of Pokemons cards, as you can see. Um, I got more somewhere else, too. Um, what can I say? Yeah, so I believe I paid... Oh, wow. I don't know if I paid between $20 to $30 for this whole entire pack. Um, love the box. I never knew that. And even on Amazon... They'll do the same thing on eBay. And I'll just like rip you off and lie to you and stuff like that. And the main reason why I purchased this it was because of this Pokemon card. Make a Charizard. In a way, it was hard to believe, but I really I kinda did research on him and I guess not too much of it. Like how much he's worth, how rare it is. And when I saw him, I decided I Google him on Amazon and I saw him with a whole bunch of other EX Pokemons and Mega Pokemons. I guess I got played. I believe I paid twenty to twenty five dollars, maybe thirty. For this whole entire stack right here. There was a little bit more. There was like maybe 15 more. But I decided to give it to um, my stepkids. And those little kids are hustlers. They sold them. <laughs> they sold them in, in school for like a dollar each. Um, yeah, this is the main reason why I got this pack. And I guess I got played. And the reason I knew it was fake. Because one, if you look at these cards closely they really really they dark like and they too shiny they're extremely dark too like I don't know if the camera could catch it but in person they are so dark like it's crazy and they shiny as hell and then when you look at the back it's really, really dark. Like, if I could do comparison, like, let's see if I could find uh, a real Pokemon card. I like this box. This box is fire. Sorry about the noise in the background. I live in New York City. Those for those that live in New York City know how it is. It's very, very noisy. Yeah, so I got this Pokemon card. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> it's not really a Pokemon card. It's a basketball card. Anyways, like, um, oh, these are old trainers. Okay, that'll do. As you can see, I'll take one of these. You can really see the difference. I'll put these right here. Fake, real. You can really, really see the difference. Like, it's just crazy, bro. I spent so much money. One of the same size. Plus, I started doing more. As you can see, the real one in the back is bigger than the fake one in the front. You can see the yellow. It's just sad, bro. Like, I didn't even do Amazon. I never knew what Amazon will, I don't know, rip me off. It's not Amazon. I don't know. If, is the people that sell stuff on Amazon. I just, it's sad that they allow that. Um, I did, I did left um, a comment below 
I was very angry and letting other people know that don't trust them. They do say these are 100 percent legit. They real, but they really not. Like, like it's just it's just crazy. Like a matter of fact, I'm just gonna show you because I do have the real one of the Mega Charizard right here. And I'd like to show you this book, not future video. Um, this is the real Mega Charizard EX. You can see the difference. I put these cards over here. They're two different, completely different ones, but still the same character. You know, this Charizard is more blue. This one's like more black. HP is 230 on this one. HP is 220 on the right one. The right one is real. Like, you can see the difference. Like, it's darker here. Even the ball is different. The ball looks bigger on this one. The Pokemon. The yellow is lighter than that one. The blue is way lighter than this one. Like, it's just crazy. I got ripped off. I really didn't know so much about um, Mega Charger EX. Charizard is my favorite Pokemon of all Pokemons, 100%. Um, as you can see, the real one is bigger than the fake one. I love this card, man. I got so lucky. Bought a Pokemon um, box. I forgot which one was it. I know it comes with like at least two to four packs and a pin and some other stuff. And I got so lucky with this one, man. I would love to get more of these. It's my favorite Pokemon. All my Pokemon collection. It's crazy, man. I got so lucky to get this. I'll talk about this in another video. Show you my. Because I love all my Pokemons. But I got all my. All the Pokemons I really, really love. I still have my Pokemons from 1998, 1999. Maybe it's 1997. I really don't know. I know in the card it says 1999, but. I doubt it if. If I really got them in 1999, I don't remember that. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you these Pokemon cards, these fake Pokemon cards. I was just so happy when I saw these on Amazon. and Every single one was EX and Mega, and it was just so dope. And then when I opened the box, they looked just so dope different it was the cards are so dark like that's when i started doing research i went to the internet youtube and looking at the difference between a real one and a fake one and and these cards are 100 percent fake but they dope at the same time like look at that i love that shiny it's crazy I did have a lot of more other Pokemons, but I gave it to the kids, like I said. And those kids are hustlers. They, they also collect Pokemon cards, and they do sell them in school for a dollar to two dollars each. Um, yeah, the little kids are hustlers early. There's people that sell candy in school. These kids sell Pokemons in school. I'm proud of them. Little hustlers. Um, yeah, man. I think I paid like $20, $25, $30 for the whole box. I don't know. I just, I was in that stage that I got back into Pokemon. I started buying video games. I got like two different DS. I started collecting um, all the games for it and just playing that game 24-7. Like, I was so hyped and so happy that I got back into Pokemon, you know what I mean? I used to collect Pokemons and 
watch Pokemon, and then I stopped. You know, I went into high school in 2000, and, you know, when you, when you go to high school, everything changes, you know. You get into girls and other stuff and parties and all that good stuff. Now in 2000, what, 15, 2014? We're in 2017, but I got back into it like in 2000. I believe I'm 2015. Um, I just, I don't know, something just came over me and I just started collecting Pokemons like crazy. Like the only thing I wanted for Christmas and birthday, I was like a little kid all over again. Like the only thing I wanted was Pokemon cards. My wife used to buy me Pokemon cards, surprised me. Even the kids got in, so into Pokemon cards and it was just amazing, like, and then this happened and just ruined it for me. I was so happy to get this card right here, man, the Mega Charger EX. Next thing you know, it's fake. What can you do? What can you do? Just make sure you do research. When you don't buy things, make sure you don't get ripped off. And I will be keeping this. And if the kids want to, I ain't going to keep this box. I love this box. I ain't going to lie. This box is crazy. And then if the kids want to, I don't know, sell them, I'll give it to them. Like I said, make the little bucks and stuff. Thank you. Like and subscribe. See you on the next video for my collection, my old Pokemon cards. I believe either they're in this box or they're in this box. Um, my rarest Pokemon cards are here and here. I think this box right here, or maybe this one. One of these two is a lot of nothing but trainers and, and other Pokemon cards and other videos I'm just going to show you them. Thank you.